In this video, we will be showing how to get started using Piano Motifs as an AUV3 MIDI plugin. As an AUV3, Piano Motifs needs to be brought up in a host app. We have chosen AUM as the host app for this video. Piano Motifs is a MIDI generator, so it goes on a MIDI channel. We chose the Pure Piano app as the app that will be receiving MIDI from Piano Motifs. MIDI routing is done in AUM. By default, Piano Motifs sends MIDI to two channels. Channel 1 for the melody and Channel 2 for the accompaniment. By default, Piano Motifs will be in sync with the host. This means that Piano Motifs BPM, beat count, and time signature will be synced to the host and can only be modified there. You can set Piano Motifs to be in non-sync mode. You do this by pressing the sync button, which will be de-highlighted. In non-sync mode, Piano Motifs is decoupled from the host and you can, for example, vary the BPM. As soon as you go back to sync mode, by pressing the sync button, the BPM will again be synced to the host BPM. Before you can play a motif in the host, you first have to generate a motif. You do this by pressing the generate button. In this case, a motif in B flat Dorian was generated. To play the motif, you have to use the host play button. It is that easy to generate and play a motif. Let's say you wanted to slow down the motif. You would have to do it in the AUM host since you're in sync mode. In AUM, you double click on the BPM and then type the value you want. Let's lower it from 120 to 105 BPM. Playing the motif, press the pause button in AUM. Notice that we have rewound the AUM beat count to the first beat. This is done so that when we press play again, the motif will start at the beginning. You can shift the melody and accompaniment octaves while the motif is playing using the octave shift steppers. You can also change the volume of the melody and accompaniment by pressing the ellipsis on the octave shift section and using the velocity sliders. In piano motifs, you can set the key and scale for the motif. To do this, you go to the settings section and pick the key and scale. We have picked C major for this motif. After picking the key and scale, press generate to generate a new motif. Then, press play in AUM to play the new motif. Now, Let's take a look at other functions in the main screen. Use the loop dial to set the number of times you want the current motif to be played. You can set the loop count up to infinity. This is useful when you don't want to rewind the AUM beat count and just want to let it run freely. Another function in the main screen is the lock function. You can lock either the accompaniment, the melody, or the chord progression of the motif. When you lock, the next motif you generate will maintain what you have locked. Here, we lock the accompaniment. To generate a new motif, press next and then generate. Then, press play in AUM to play the new motif. We will now lock the melody. Press next and generate to generate a new motif. Then, press play in AUM to play the new motif. Now, 
Let's lock the chord progression, generate, and play a new motif. Let's explore the file functions in the main screen. You can load, save, export, or import a file. To save a motif to the Piano Motifs internal library, press Save. You can enter the name and author of the motif, and add its key, scale, BPM, and time signature by checking the Add Motifs Attributes to Name box. To load a motif from the internal library, press Load. Motifs in the library can be sorted alphabetically by date, by key and scale, by time signature, and by BPM. Select the motif you want to load and press Load Motif. You can also export a MIDI file or a motif file. Press Export to see all the available options. The MIDI option exports a MIDI file with two tracks, one for the melody and one for the accompaniment. The MIDI, two files option exports two MIDI files one for the melody and one for the accompaniment. The MIDI, Melody option exports one MIDI file with only the melody. The MIDI, a comp option exports one MIDI file with only the accompaniment. The other MIDI options are used when a third track or multi-tracks have been enabled. The Motif option exports a .motif file that can be imported into Piano Motifs apps installed in other devices or into the Piano Motif standalone. Let's export using the MIDI option. You can share the MIDI file on AirDrop, Messages, Mail, etc. Or you can save the MIDI file to your device's file system app or iCloud. Or you can open the MIDI file on an app that supports MIDI. For this example, we will open the MIDI file in the MIDI Sheet Music app, a free music notation app. The last file function is the Import function. With this function, you can import .motif files from the device's file system or iCloud. Let's explore now some MIDI settings for piano motifs. To access them, press the MIDI button. In this screen, you can set the MIDI channels for the melody and accompaniment. You can also enable a third track. When the third track is on, a third track will be generated with chords that are held per bar of the motif. This third track is ideal for pad, choir, or string instruments. Let's turn the third track on. By default, the third track will be sent to MIDI channel 3. We add an audio strip in AUM and use the Rolly Noise app to play on it. We pick the string and horns preset. Now, we need to route piano motifs to Rolly Noise. We also need to filter the MIDI channel so only channel 3 goes to it. Finally, we need to filter the MIDI channels for pure piano, so channel 3 doesn't go to it. Let's play the motif with the third track on by pressing play in AUM. Now, let's access the Piano Motifs user manual. When you press Help, the user manual is presented. The manual is very comprehensive and explains in detail all the Piano Motifs features and settings. We hope this tutorial has helped you to get started with the Piano Motifs app. Piano Motifs has many more settings and functionality that will allow you to create some original and beautiful music. We hope to cover more functionality in future videos. In this channel, you will find a lot of tutorials and demos for Piano Motifs, so like and subscribe.